Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, ambitious Liberty Lifter axed, Horizon Aircraft shows early test flights of Cavarette model, and Eurodrone passes preliminary design review. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Ambitious Liberty Lifter axed. General Atomics' is run at developing the Liberty Lifter ground effect aircraft has been put to rest, with their competitor Aurora Flight Sciences retaining theirs for the time being. The Liberty Lifter is one funky duck as far as prospective military projects go. Looking forward to a contentious Pacific theater, DOD planners see a dire need for seaborne transport beyond the old school's island hopping and airstrip chopping. The Liberty Lifter will be, if at all goes well, a gargantuan seaplane designed to fly within the cozy cushion of ground effect and debark its cargo without needing specialized dock facilities. In concept, it should be somewhat similar in scale to a C-17 Globemaster by some renditions, but much work remains to be done. General Atomics has been dropped from the competition, leaving Aurora Flight Sciences, a Boeing subsidiary, to continue onward. General Atomics has offered something a little weirder than the more traditional competition, designing a lifter sporting a mid-wing twin-hull arrangement with banks of overwing motors and props. Its design would have been able to carry more than 170,000 pounds of cargo, right up to full-size, full-weight M1 Abrams and some troops. Ultimately, General Atomics' work was judged insufficient, according to DARPA Brass. After the break, 2024 AMA National Fun Fly barely a month away. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon, www.sportplane.com. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. 2024 AMA National Fun Fly, barely a month away. The folks at the Academy of Model Aeronautics tells us that the upcoming 2024 AMA National Fun Fly will be a celebration unlike any other. They plan it to be a combination of a traditional fun fly and a community day, and it being a free event doesn't hurt the prospects at all for the community of model aviation enthusiasts. AMA notes that the vision for the 2024 AMA National Fun Fly set for June 28th through 30th is to foster a renewed spirit for model pilots with enhanced community engagement. Thales adopts Skyfire SF2 for Vantis testing range. Skyfire Consulting has embarked on a partnership with Thales USA to integrate the Skyfire SF2 into the Vantis North Dakota UAS test range. The SF2 offers a payload agnostic design, enabling comprehensive testing of advanced airspace management tools and air traffic systems in the UAS ops range. Thales already took delivery of some SF2s for testing in warmer springtime weather. They expect to make the most of the SF-2 to put some of their instrument-based landing systems, traffic avoidance, and obstacle identification to the test. Echodyne gets BB loss waiver for Air Ranger aircraft. Echodyne has announced full integration of its proprietary Echo Flight Radar into the American Aerospace Technologies, Inc. AI Ranger aircraft, recently granted its BB loss approval from the FAA. It's good news for the UAS industry to some small extent, showing that the regulator is content to approve efficient, affordable operations beyond immediate line of sight. 
That's the way of the future, of course, allowing operators to command a semi-autonomous aircraft from a distance. But it's not an easy sell to a very danger-averse administration like the FAA. NAV Canada launches new aviation meteorology reference. NAV Canada has launched the Aviation Meteorology Reference, which they claim to be a new, first-of-its-kind and definitive guide on meteorology and aviation operations. In response to the dynamic challenges posed by weather in the aviation industry, NAV Canada, in collaboration with experts from across the aviation industry, developed the new reference as an educational tool that will complement existing weather training and course curriculums. A significant number of users, from flight schools to airport authorities and commercial airlines, have already planned to build the Aviation Meteorology Reference into their training. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Horizon Aircraft shows early test flights of Cabaret Model. Hybrid eVTOL manufacturer, or better said, developer, showed off its latest flight test using a smaller scaled version of its high wing Cabaret X5. The short tethered test flight shows the Cabaret take off from a standstill, lifting off and testing its behavior as it gently moves through a handful of power settings and control checks. It validated the Cabaret's yaw control system, as well as demonstrated to a small degree how stable and effective the aircraft is while taking off in VTOL mode. Cabaret's transition from vertical to horizontal flight, quote, within the next few months, end quote, keeps pace in an industry where everyone wants to be first to market. Future tests will really put it through the ringer, ensuring it can stay in place with windy conditions or transition from vertical takeoff to cruise while remaining stable. The Cabaret's claim to eVTOL competence rests on its wider, more efficient fixed-wing design, which should help it stretch its legs better than the equivalent aircraft relying only on a bank of rotors. Horizon has already begun production on a full-size rendition of its power plant and propulsion systems, anticipating testing on a full-scale prototype in the years to come. After these messages, Eurodrone passes preliminary design review. There's a lot of places I get to at the end of the runway or in turnarounds that I need an engine running. So for me, it's very important to have a product that I'm absolutely confident with. I am very confident with the Trailblazer propeller. And when I'm flying air shows, I know that propeller's gonna be right for me. Welcome back. Eurodrone passes preliminary design review. The Eurodrone program has successfully performed a preliminary design review. With Airbus Defense and Space as prime contractor, this milestone has been completed with OCCAR and representatives of the four customer nations, France, Germany, Italy, and Spain, in the presence of the three major subcontractors, Airbus Defense and Space Spain, Dassault Aviation, and Leonardo. The PDR proves that the initial design of the aircraft has matured, paving the way to proceed with the detailed design. It is the outcome of different technical assessments and evaluations conducted, such as wind tunnel testing to confirm the aerodynamic configuration of the aerodrome, the overall design to ensure demonstration of operational capability, and the validation of a fully representative digital twin. Supported by and based on the knowledge already gathered, the Eurodrone program enters into a new phase to reach the critical design review, which will represent the final step and closure of architecture and system design. 
And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.